uh, Rheumatology COVID Alliance will collect data on really any rheumatology patient who tests positive for the COVID-19 infection. And we're interested in mild disease all the way through severe disease with really the goal of informing our risk stratification and best practices for our patients during this outbreak. We aim to actually get data available to our patients, to rheumatologists in our community uh, very quickly. What we're trying to do is to create a secure, de-identified international case reporting registry and curate and disseminate the outputs from that registry. It is our hope that the information collected will help guide rheumatology clinicians in assessing and treating patients with rheumatic disease and then evaluating the risk of infection in patients with immunosuppression. We're hoping that we can start to generate data from you know, many countries around the world that will inform our understanding of how the risk of COVID-19 plays out in patients with rheumatic disease and who are taking immunosuppression, and also how specific drugs do with this infection. The motivation to get this started was the fact that we didn't have any information to tell our patients or to tell our colleagues about how to manage patients who are at risk of infection. And so we needed more information, and the only way to do that was to gather cases and, and information from other people who had experience with rheumatology patients becoming infected with COVID-19.